scientific issues are encroaching on people's real lives. It's part of everyone's everyday lives, whether it's the environment or genetically modified organisms or technology or iPhones. It, science has, has become a huge part of our lives, much more than it used to be. Our research is focused on, on taking proteins and, and engineering them to make them do what they currently do differently or, or better. That involves proteins that could be used to treat people that have been poisoned, sense the presence of other molecules, and we can use that to try to visualise what's happening in our brains, for example. So for the Blowfly, um, collaborators of ours at CSIRO have done a lot of excellent work looking at the genetics of how the Blowfly has become resistant to a certain type of pesticides. Um, and we were able to solve the three-dimensional molecular structure so we could understand how resistance has evolved and, and how we can stop it happening in the future. So I've got a group of about 20 people here. Um, everyone's working on different projects and it's, it's my job to help guide them and supervise them to make sure that, that they get the results that they're trying to get. Uh, and then when they get their papers published and, and you see the smiles on their faces, it uh, kind of makes the tough parts of the job worthwhile. It's a natural thing for people to want to understand the world around them. The more we understand science, the better for all of us as a society.